All right, so what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be discussing about mobile nets. It is basically a convolutional neural network implementation for low power devices, which is portable. It's portable, it's lightweight and it's fast and it's accurate, right? So it was published in April 2017. Mobile nets version two is also there, but we don't need to really worry about versioning right now. It's more important to just get started and, you know, implement stuff. This is of course from Google, as you can see. So the thing is, this is a model, right? And in the last video, we discussed what a model is. So that means if we are using mobile net, that means it's, it's actually trained for some sort of data sets, right? And just like we are discussing that it's an efficient convolutional neural network for mobile vision. That means obviously it is associated with vision, that is with seeing. Now you can see either an image or a video, right? Now there are some ways we use people use CNNs for other types of data, but mostly you would find the use of CNN mostly restricted to just images and videos. That is the visualization part right so the thing is uh when we are going with uh, mobile net that means we are picking up this model which is actually already trained for some sort of data set right so let's just go ahead and do that so right here we can see if i go to tensorflow repository and tensorflow.js models we'll see that mobile net is one of the options right so what i'm going to do right now is just go ahead and take this code right here and create a little tiny bit of model for us, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and fire off my terminal. Let me just bring it right here so that you guys can see. So here we are, right? And I'm just gonna say, this is my TensorFlow project. And let's just go ahead into this. Now, let's just first of all, touch our index.html file, which is pretty much what we would need for this video. Right, so what I want to do essentially is just show you how we can do a little hello world to mobile net. So what I'm going to do is just paste right here what I copied from this, right? So what essentially, let's just go through this real quick what we are going. So as the statement says, we are loading TensorFlow.js in our project. Then we are loading at this line, we are loading mobile net, right? And if we go ahead and see what this is, we'll see that it's basically just a chunk of JavaScript, which loads even more files, right? You can see these are uh, some of the files this mobile net would load. But anyway, we don't uh, need to know about them. Okay, we have some sort of image right here in place. And uh, um, yeah, we have then our custom script tag. So what the hell is going on here? Well, you see that uh, right here, we are what we are doing is we just placed an image tag and why the hell do they have a closing part for that image? But anyway, we have an image tag. We are grabbing it with JavaScript, right? Then what we are doing is we are loading the mobile net model. Now, obviously, since we are already, we have already loaded the script right here, we don't need to, you know, um, either wait for this mobile net variable to be available or, you know, do any sort of, any sort of, waiting for this particular thing because we are just loading it directly the old school way then we load it that is basically it fetches all the things and once it does that it returns us the model so we can actually just convert it into an async async await implementation as well if you like and actually top level async is coming to javascript modules real quick just so you know right so i'm gonna get this model right here and i'm just gonna say mobile net dot load right and i'm just gonna say once i have the model i'm gonna try to classify this image into something and into something what is that predictions let's hope i spell it right nope anyway and i just console log my predictions right and i just get rid of this so the thing is Let me just get rid of these real quick. All right, so the thing is, we load the model and we try to get some predictions out of it. 
Now, by default, it would return us the top three predictions, which we can customize in the options we can pass, but we'll do that later on. But for now, what's happening is this model would try to read this image via CNNs, which we discussed in the last video, and it's going to console log. It's going to tell us what it thinks it is, right? And let's just go ahead and see how this works. And just stick with me till the end because I have something for you to reveal. So I'm going to start a local server. Let's just start it at 1111. And I'm just going to go to localhost 1111. And I'm going to see that we obviously have a broken image. But if we go to inspect element, it's still going to just predict anyway. Right? Okay. Not really because we have to await this. Right, and what I want to do essentially is just refresh this for now, right? So anyway, the model predicts something. I don't know why does it predict that. It's not even image anymore. So let's just go ahead and see what this model actually is, right? Because we discussed that this model is something which is trained on, right? So if we go down, when I load this model, and if I go down a little, you're going to see that we get a nice little object stating what this model could detect technically right so you see that mobile net this thing right here has been trained for a thousand items right you can see it it could detect mushroom if you show a mushroom in front of it it would be able to do that uh it could detect a menu a plate you know a comic book a website a website internet site something like that so let's just try this website thing right I'm just going to take a screenshot of this page right here and let's see if it could detect that. All right, there we go. I have taken a screenshot of this page and uh, right, so there we go. My web.png file, right? And I'm just going to make sure this is web.png now. Hit save and reload. Right, so once we do that, we can see that we get our image loaded right here. Our model is still loading. Once the model loads, it has the top three predictions. And you can see the first prediction it makes with a confidence of 93% is this, this is a website, right? That this page is a particular website. So the thing is, it would do very well on these thousand items, right? We can just go ahead and let me just go ahead and drag a... Uh, let's see a hard disk here because uh there's a hard disk item as well image.jpg right so if we go ahead hard disk you can see that it is also trained for a hard disk so it should be able to detect that pretty nicely let's just reload this we see we see a hard disk the model is still loading and let's just wait for it to make its prediction it's done and you can see that the number one prediction it makes with a 99.7 per probability is that it's a hard disk right so yeah i mean it's pretty awesome to have a mobile net as the model if you want a lot of cases to test against but in a lot of cases what we would actually need is maybe you want to create a hot dog or not hot dog application right if you're building the next automation car which is a driverless car you want a road or not road model you want a very very good road or not road model instead of a you know okay working thousand categorizing model right so over the period of this web series we would be trying to build something like that and uh, we would be doing that right plus we would be shifting from static images to video feeds to live camera feed stuff like that so that you know we are actually working with something useful so yeah i mean that's pretty much it for this video i hope this video gave you a little bit of idea how things are working. We have loaded a model which is trained on these many images by Google. This is already trained. We don't need to do anything. We just pull it in, use TensorFlow to load it. That's it, right? Once we do that, we just supply it an image and it gives us uh, what it thinks it is, right? And it could only work on these 900, uh, 1000 items. If you do anything outside this, right, it won't be able to you know detect that because it's not trained for that so yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it do not forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then really really soon in the next one